Hey, Janet, will you please break up with Ken? We're in love. Ugh, you're talking about that again? The answer is always no. He's my husband. I'm not breaking up with him. What? But he didn't come home today again, did he? Isn't that because he doesn't love you anymore? <sighs> he called me to say he had some trouble at work and couldn't come home. Oh, wait, how did you know he isn't home? <gasps> Don't tell me. You're right. He's taking a shower here right now. He said he finished work on time because he wanted to see me as soon as possible. He didn't want to go home, so he lied to you. See, you can't say anything back. You are always like that. When I tell you the truth, you won't be able to say anything. So, get off your ass and hand over Ken to me. Why are you so obsessed with him? You're still young. Why don't you go out with someone younger than an old man like him? I want him. He looks just like George Clooney and has a cool voice. Why is such a cool guy like him your husband? You are so chubby and old. You are always so shy and you don't match with him at all. Just break up with him. <sighs> We've talked about it a lot and decided to start over. Please, don't mislead him. <laughs> it's so funny that he's not going back to you after talking it over with you. <gasps> That's... What? Poor you. You're not attractive and your husband is not interested in you. I know why you won't leave him, even though he's cheated on you so many times. Huh? If he left you, you won't be able to live on your own. You don't have a job, and you only worked a little when you were single, right? <laughs> you say you can't work to make ends meet now that you're on your own, right? You really are a woman who can't do anything on your own. He said that too. What did he say? He said you can't do anything on your own because you're so naive. He said that? Yeah, he's laughing and saying you'll just die without his money. What? Don't get mad at me because I hit the nail on the head. I'm not mad at you. Well, you're actually living on his money, aren't you? You can't complain no matter what he says. If you divorce him, I won't cut you off. Uh, what do you mean? Our mother died two years ago, right? We only have each other. And if I cut you off, you'd be all alone in the world. Ah, oh, that's too sad. So if you divorce him, I won't cut you off. If I don't divorce him, you'll cut me off? That's right. But it's hard for you to be alone, isn't it, Janet? So divorce him. Oh no. He's finishing the shower because you take too long to make a decision. Well, we're going to have some fun now, so don't interrupt us. Hey, he's my husband. What you're doing is wrong. Shut up. You are just jealous because you're not attractive and your husband doesn't want to be with you. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. Susan. Susan, what do you mean by this? What? I just got the divorce papers in the mail. Oh, wow. You got it already? They are already filled out. All you have to do is fill your part out and submit them, okay? That's not what I'm saying. Who wrote this? It's obviously not his handwriting. This is forgery, and that's a crime. Because if I don't do this, you won't divorce him. What are you talking about? Ken and I talked it over and decided not to get a divorce, but to start over. Does he really want to leave me? 
He doesn't even know about the divorce papers, does he? Ah, uh, you are so annoying. I'm giving you an opportunity because you guys don't break up easily. It's just a matter of time before you guys break up, so hurry up. I want to marry him as soon as possible. Why are you so obsessed with him? There are many good men in the world. But why my husband of all people? Because there's no one else out there with that looks. What? His looks? You want to be with him just because of his looks? That's right. I bet his kids will be good looking too, right? I want to have a baby with him. I see. So that's what this is about. What? Do you have a problem with that? No, I don't. But why did he marry you? He is such a good looking man. He's too good for you. <sighs> How can you say that? Because it's true. You don't look like me at all. That's probably why he is so crazy about me. I wrote them for him this time, but next time, I'll have him write them himself. Just hurry up and get a divorce, okay? I won't divorce him no matter how many times you tell me. Janet, I have good news. What? Listen, listen. I'm finally pregnant with his child. What? <sighs> Don't you get it? I'm carrying his baby in my belly. Isn't that great news? Are you sure? I've been feeling a little sick lately, so I just took a test and it came back positive. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy for me to say congratulations, but, well, congratulations? What? It is good news, right? Your sister is pregnant. <laughs> well, yes, but I'm not sure if I should be happy for you when you're pregnant with my husband's child. Well, you're right. But now you can divorce him, can't you? I checked with him about that and he said he has no intention of divorcing me. Did you tell him about the pregnancy? Uh, what are you talking about? He is always telling me he wants a divorce. He says he is divorcing you and marrying me. I'm sure he'll be happy about the pregnancy. That's good. I'm getting a divorce. What? Really? Yeah, he's all yours. Yay! But, you know, I won't divorce for free. <gasps> what do you mean? I'm gonna get alimony. Ugh, how much do you want? Let me see. I'm willing to let him pay you alimony to end things smoothly. Hmm, that's very understanding. How about $20,000? Is that enough? That's so little for him. What? I think that's all he can afford. Are you making fun of your own husband? Saying $20,000 is all he can afford? He works for such a big company. Hmm? A big company? That's right. Because their office is located in the center of the city. Well, it is, but... Oh, I forgot to mention. He isn't the only one who's going to be paying me alimony. What? Susan, I'm going to charge you too. You're kidding! You're trying to extort money from your sister? Of course. I've been harassed by you over and over again. And to top it off, you're asking me to divorce him because you're pregnant with his child. I deserve to demand you $20,000 in alimony. I'd win in court. I'll pay you that, and I don't want to get into trouble, so let's not go to court. I'm pregnant, and I want to take care of myself. You're a woman, too. 
You understand that, right? I don't. I've never been pregnant. You're getting divorced without knowing the joy of childbirth? <laughs> Alimony is nothing. Mm, you sound very generous. You work, like, part-time. Can you pay it? Don't worry. He can pay you when necessary. I don't know if he can. What? You sound like a sore loser. Stop it. I'm not a sore loser. Well, as long as you two are happy, I won't say another word. Yay! I'll get back to you on this. Okay. Janet! You tricked me! What are you talking about? What do you mean by, you tricked me? I mean, his job. I thought he worked for a big company. I never said that. You just assumed he did. I mean, you think every company in that building is big. But he works for a cleaning company for the building? I told you, he doesn't work for a big company. Uh, I didn't hear it. And you know, he doesn't wear a suit to work. I thought his company was casual about it. But that doesn't mean he'd go to work dressed like that. He's good looking, so he looks stylish no matter what he's wearing. Ah, well, love is blind. Stop it! Can you do me a favor? What? I'd like you to lower the amount of my alimony. Huh? That's impossible. This amount is for the emotional trauma you've caused me. I'd never do it. It's just a divorce because he cheated on you. $20,000 is a ripoff. <laughs> Don't talk like that. I haven't forgotten that you harassed me besides the affair. Huh? Do you have any proof of that? He left slanderous comments on my social media, didn't you? Did I? Don't play dumb. You're an old lady. That's not all. You're the one who left the obscene picture in my mailbox. Obscene? It was a picture of me and Ken. It was a picture of you naked. Ugh, that's disgusting. You're just playing the innocent. I felt disgusted. $20,000 is not enough. Okay. I'm pregnant with his baby. I'm sure the baby is going to be beautiful with his genes. My heart is overflowing. By the way, how can you be so optimistic? What do you mean? Even if you get alimony, you're getting a divorce. You don't have a job. How are you going to live? You have zero income. What? That's not true. Huh? I don't go to work, so you don't know. It's called passive income. <gasps> What's that? Well, it's hard to explain. We had our mother's inheritance, didn't we? Yes, but it wasn't much, you know. I was just living off of it, and it was gone. I used it to invest in real estate. What? I bought a condo at a resort overseas. What? And I rented out. How can someone like you who's a housewife and have never worked do that? I have a friend who lives abroad and she taught me how to do it. <gasps> That's not fair. I want to do it too. But you don't have the money, right? You can't start without funds. So you will still have that income even if you get divorced? Yes, and that little alimony. That's not fair. Well, I'm going to have a beautiful baby. When is the baby due? In seven months. I'll let you know when it's born. I hope it comes out okay. Thank you so much for giving up Ken. Happy pushing. Take care. What's going on? 
what's wrong. Did you have a baby? Don't play dumb. Explain it to me right now. Explain what? What happened? Is the baby okay? She was just born. It's a healthy baby girl. Oh, congratulations. I bet she's adorable. What are you going to do about this? What are you so angry about? Did he have a plastic surgery? Ah, oh, yes, he did. Why didn't you know? When I was dating him, he was in a motorcycle accident and he was in a life and death situation. That's how he got his face badly injured, so he had to have plastic surgery. Didn't you know that? Because he looked the same at your wedding. So it was before that. I brought him home and said he was my boyfriend. All I remember of your boyfriend was a top but ugly guy. Now that was Ken, the guy you looked down on. What? You're kidding, right? That ugly guy was Ken? That's what I am saying. He's the only guy I've ever dated. You're kidding. What are you going to do about this? Why are you so angry? If I had known that he was a hottie from a plastic surgery, I would have never had kids with him. What? If I had known he was ugly, I wouldn't have taken him from you. How can you say such a terrible thing after you stole my husband? I don't want a baby with this face. I'm giving her and him to you. Give me back the alimony. <laughs> How can you do that? It's your baby. You're responsible for raising her. You're the mother. Pull yourself together. I don't want to. I was deceived by you. I'll go talk to you when you get out of the hospital. I'm sure you're emotionally unstable right now, having just given birth. I'll be in touch. Janet, what's going on? It's exactly what I told you. I'm leaving the US and moving abroad. You should marry Ken and raise the baby. Are you giving up on me? Huh? Don't talk nonsense. If you hadn't taken my husband away from me, this wouldn't have happened. I was frustrated because I thought you had a good-looking husband who worked for a big company. But in reality, he just underwent a plastic surgery and works as a building cleaner for a small salary. I liked him. He was such a sweet guy before he got the surgery. But once he got the new looks, his personality changed. He cheated on me many times and we started over, but when he cheated on me with my own sister and had a baby with her, I thought there was no way to fix it. Janet! I don't want anything to do with you anymore. What? I'll take this opportunity to cut you off. <gasps> You're kidding! What are you talking about? You probably thought that if you cried to me, I'd forgive you, didn't you? I bet you thought you'd get away with the alimony and dump the kid on me. <laughs> I've lived my whole life being disrespected by you, so I can see right through that. Damn it! How am I supposed to pay alimony when I have a child? Why don't you get a job? Take her to daycare or something. Help me! I don't know anything about raising kids. Oh, that's too bad. I've never raised kids either. Stop goofing around. Oh, look at the time. I have to go. What? I'm not done talking. See you later. Good luck with the kid. Hey, Janet! After this text with my sister, I left the US. My ex-husband is still unfaithful, and when Susan got pregnant, he left her for another woman. Susan went to her office and made a scene, and the police were called. I was worried about the child, but I heard that the ex-in-laws took her in, and she is doing fine. Susan borrowed money from a loan shark to pay the alimony. 
To pay back the debt, she is forced to work in a shady establishment, crying. Hello? Hello, this is Mrs. Smith, the wife of John Smith, is that correct? Yes. Who is this? I'm from the police. The police? I'm sorry if I startled you. It's easier to contact people by text message these days. That's why I'm texting you like this. But why do the police know my contact information? Don't underestimate the police, ma'am. We can look up a private number in a heartbeat. Oh, I see. Then what can I do for you? Put your hands up now. Huh? It's kind of silly telling me to put my hands up by text message. Anyway, I didn't do anything. It was your husband who did. What? Hand over the five million dollars in diamonds your husband stole. My husband? That's correct. Last night, your husband broke into a jewelry store and stole five million dollars worth of diamond jewelry. A police report was filed. Oh no, you don't think my husband... I know it's hard to believe, but it is a fact that your husband stole the jewelry. Security cameras caught him in the act. No, that's definitely not my husband. Isn't this a case of mistaken identity? No, his face was clearly visible. Some witnesses saw him running away. I'm sure it was him. I'm afraid to say it, but... Well, I'm sure it's terrifying. Your own husband committed a horrible crime. Well, that's not what I meant. According to eyewitness testimony, your husband fled in his car in the direction of your home. So the diamonds he stole must be hidden at home. If you return them now, we won't arrest him. Now give me the diamonds. I don't care what you say. We don't have any diamonds. Oh, you're defending your husband, aren't you? I'm not defending him. My husband would never steal diamonds. If you say it's on the security camera, show me the proof. I'm sorry, but I can't show you the data from the security cameras. I'm afraid we can't show it to outsiders. Outsider? I'm his wife. Anyway, rules are rules. That's absurd. Well, if you insist on not having the diamonds, I'll have to ask you to pay for them. Huh? Get me five million dollars in cash right now. Five million dollars is impossible. Are you sure you don't want your husband arrested? Yes. You are the only one who can save him now. But there's no way we can pay five million. Then how about one hundred thousand? One hundred thousand? The jewelry store owner said if you can get me 100,000 for the time being, he'll forget about the diamonds. What? Is only 100,000 enough? He went as far as the break into a jewelry store. Your husband must have been in financial trouble. The jewelry store owner is a generous man. He wants to give poor people a chance. I see. So as long as he pays 100,000 at first, the store owner is willing to accept the rest in installments. What do you think? Even you can pay 100,000 right away. I don't have 100,000 on hand. Then go to the bank and withdraw the money. If you have it by tomorrow evening, I'll let you off the hook. You're not a cop, are you? What? I'm telling you, I'm the police. You've been saying all kinds of crazy things. We stole 5 million worth of diamonds and now you're asking for 100,000? Why are you contacting me, the wife, not him? That's because we were able to get a hold of your information before we could find his. Oh, my husband passed away five years ago. What? How does someone who's already dead steal diamonds? Was it my husband's ghost caught on the security camera? Wait a minute, I didn't hear that your husband passed away. Oh, you suddenly changed your tone. You're a fraud, aren't you? Uh... See, I knew it. You can't answer anything. Damn it. Well, it doesn't matter now. You lied about the $5 million diamond theft anyway, didn't you? Your goal from the beginning was to get the money, right? That's right. As long as I get the 100000 that's all that matters. I'll call the police then. What the hell? What are you surprised at? You're a scammer. It's not a scam, it's attempted fraud. You just tried to cheat me out of my money, remember? I haven't taken your money yet. Oh, you're a con man. Don't you know that? You can be arrested for attempting to defraud me. Well then, I have an idea. What is it? If you don't pay me the 100,000, Emma will get hurt. Huh? Emma? What are you babbling on about? It's your daughter, Emma. My daughter. That's right. Ha ha ha. Don't you care what happens to your only precious little daughter? 
How do you know about Emma? I know everything about you. Of course, I know where your house is. Emma didn't do anything. Keep her out of this. It's up to you to keep Emma safe. You know what happens if you tip off the police, right? If you want what's good for Emma, get the 100,000 ready right away. You're a coward for taking advantage of my Emma. Human scum. Whatever you say. You want your daughter to get hurt because you were stinging over a mere 100,000? Well, no. Emma will be taken far away. I'm sure she'll be in a lot of pain. Poor little thing, she's still so young. Don't. If you're her mother, you know what to do, don't you? Okay, I understand. I'll give you the 100,000. All right, well said. But please, just leave her alone. Fine. Then tell me where to transfer the money. No transfers. Bank transfers are a bad idea, so I'll have you hand it to me in person. Cash? Yes, cash. How do I give it to you? Come to the parking lot of the convenience store in front of the mall tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock. Text me when you get there. I'll tell you how to give it to me then. Understood. Hey, it's almost time for the meeting. Did you get the stuff ready? I just arrived at the convenience store. I see. You didn't tell the police, did you? Of course not. Did you get the 100,000 together? I withdrew it from the bank this morning. Good. Then you'll do exactly as I tell you from now on. Yes, okay. You'll see a white van parked at the end of the parking lot. Oh, that's the car. Are you waiting for me in the car? There's no one in the car. I can't let anyone see my face. But the car is unlocked. Open the back and put the cash inside. I understand. Just so you know, if you make the slightest wrong move, Emma's dead. You're surrounded by a bunch of my guys right now. They're keeping an eye on you. If you even make a move to call the police, someone will go after Emma right away. I beg you, please don't touch Emma. I won't do anything if you don't screw up. Rest assured, as long as you hand over the cash quietly, nothing will happen to either of you. I just put the bag of cash in the back of the van. All right. Well, I'm going to head to my car now. You get the hell out of here. All right? Yes, all right. Hey. May I help you? Are you fucking kidding me? Huh? There was no money in the bag. Huh? That's strange. I'm sure I put a wad of cash in there. You've got to be kidding me. That's a wad of toy money, isn't it? Oh, you figured it out? You're a tricky one, aren't you? How did you see through that? Who would be fooled by that? I can't believe you went to the trouble of prepping a wad of toy money. Do you really have that much free time? I just happen to have it at home. That can't be true. Are you saying you always kept a wad of dummy bills? Yeah, I always keep it by my side and look at it. Huh? Even if it's play money, if you keep it with you, it helps you with wealth attraction. My mother gave it to me as a gift. Today's toys are really well made, aren't they? Just looking at it makes you feel like a millionaire. You idiot. But it looked just like the real thing, didn't it? I got 100,000 worth. I'm sure you'll get lucky too. You've got to be kidding me. Hey, is your daughter Emma home right now? Yes, she's at home, but... I'm going to your house now and I'm going to kidnap your daughter. How are you going to kidnap my daughter? You can't go in there. The front door is locked. I'm not just going to ring the doorbell. I'll probably just smash through the window. What? Are you really going to do that? It's your fault for making me angry. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Are you saying that the police are in the house? No, there are no police. I'm worried about you. What are you talking about now? You're wasting your time trying to stall me like that. By the time you get home, Emma will be long gone. You'll regret teasing me. Wait. It's dangerous, so don't touch Emma. Huh? You'll get your fingers bitten. Huh? Bite? Is your daughter that rabbit? She's not rabbit. Emma is a timid and quiet girl by nature. But if you startle her, she might bite. Biting when startled? Your kid is that undisciplined? It's impossible to discipline them. Emma is a piranha we keep at home. Piranha? I thought she was human. No, she's not a person. She's a fish. How can a fish be your daughter? I love her like she's my family. I'd even go so far as to call her my daughter. Oh no. So you're not going to hurt Emma? 
You'd better not do anything strange. You'll be the one who gets hurt. I can't believe it was a pet. You gave a piranha a confusing name like Emma. Speaking of names, you're Watson, right? Huh? How did you know my name? Oh, you are Watson after all. You, you knew all along? We went to the same college. You've known my husband and me for a while. I didn't think I'd be the victim of a scam by a mutual friend. But how did you know it was me? You're the only one of my husband's friends who had my contact information. What the hell? I hadn't seen you for years, so I didn't think you'd find out. I know you went to the trouble of sending me a message with a different ID. I knew all along. How did you find out? You knew about Emma. Huh? Only my family was supposed to know that we kept piranhas in our house. But my husband, before he died, he went out for a drink with you once, didn't he? I think it was about five years ago, right before he passed away. At that time, Emma had just arrived at our house. I didn't know what influenced him. My husband insisted on getting a piranha. Piranhas have a scary image. I was against it at first. But my husband's enthusiasm got the better of me and I went to the pet store and bought one. Then I found it surprisingly cute. My husband is usually quiet and doesn't talk much about his family. I guess he was so proud that she was his daughter. Since you mentioned it, John was happy to have a cute daughter named Emma. But my husband was diagnosed with a disease soon after he brought her home. He passed away in the blink of an eye. We didn't have any children. He loved Emma as if she was his own daughter. I'm sure my husband was disappointed too. What's so cute about a piranha with such a scary face? Well, most people wouldn't understand how cute Emma is. By the way, why did you try to take $100,000 from me? I really needed the money. If you need money, why don't you work and earn it yourself? It's not that easy to earn $100,000. Besides, I wanted to get back at John. Get back at him? Did my husband do something bad to you? He was smarter than me. What? He was a good student, but he was a quiet, dull guy. Well, yes. I, on the other hand, was a total failure academically. But I was popular with women and I was supposed to be more successful than him in the future. But John got a good job at a good company and got married before me. And he even had a cute daughter. She's a piranha, though. Shut up. I thought she was a human being until just now. While he's enjoying his life, I failed to find a job. I was making a living at a part-time job. I couldn't forgive myself for losing everything to him. I see. I guess it's called male jealousy? I didn't want to lose to him. I wanted to give him a good beating someday, so I decided to take his money. But why did you call me the wife? You were only jealous of my husband. I had nothing to do with it, right? I thought you were easier to fool. Huh? John is smart. I thought he'd easily find out it was me. But your grades were about the same as mine. I thought if I told you I was the police, you'd get scared and cough up the $100,000. Hmm. I've been taken for a fool too, haven't I? And you've got a wad of dummy money. You're so clever. I knew it was you on the other end. There's no way I'd give you $100,000. How dare you make fun of me? We were friends in school. I never want to see your face again. Speak for yourself. You didn't even know my husband was dead. Making up lies about diamonds or whatever. Well, this time it didn't work out, so let's just forget about it. Forget about me. I'm leaving town. And you're never gonna see or hear from me again. You're already surrounded by cops. What? No way. There's a police car parked right in front of me. You call the police? Of course. You try to cheat me out of $100,000. I already called the police. You may not have noticed it, but before you even met me in the parking lot, your car was already marked. Damn, you tricked me. You promised not to tell the police, to keep Emma safe. You tricked me first. But I kept my word. So you're going to take Emma away? How? Hold her in your bare hands? Don't tell me you want the whole tank. No, I don't want Emma. Then you'll be a big boy and be arrested by the police. Wait a minute. You know, it was $100,000 in fake money. Calling the police about stealing a lot of play money? That's going a little overboard, isn't it? And by play money? It was a wad of cash that my mother gave me and I treasured. You took $100,000 worth of toys away from me. If my luck goes down, it's your fault. It won't go down. 
Besides, I told you before, you can be arrested for attempted fraud, didn't I? Oh no, I don't want to be arrested. If you didn't want to get caught, you shouldn't have done this in the first place. That's the only way I could get my hands on $100,000 quickly. Come to think of it, ever since you were a student, you've always had a tendency to want to have fun. You try to get results without hard work. You skipped class and copying my husband's reports. But if you think it's easy to get $100,000, you're wrong. If you have time to think about some stupid scam, then work hard and diligently. I understand. I'm sorry. I'll work hard from now on. You're gonna have to help me. What's the matter with you? You think if you apologize, I'll forgive you? We're friends, right? What? Friends? We hung out together a lot when we were students. That was a long time ago. Not now. I wouldn't call a scumbag who tries to cheat me out of money, out of jealousy, a friend. I apologize for trying to take your money. So why don't you call the police and convince them to let me go? I can't. Oh, come on. Why not? Well then, goodbye, scammer. I have no more use for you. I'll block you too. Wait a minute. Oh no, a police officer is approaching me. Please help me. Oh my god. Shortly thereafter, Watson was arrested. Why he was after $100,000 had always been a mystery to me. According to the police investigation, he had no regular job, but he had a serious gambling problem. He was in debt. The amount was a little over $100,000. He came up with the idea of committing this crime. The case was successfully solved though. I am so disappointed because he was an old friend of mine. I am sure that my husband in heaven feels the same way. I hope Watson will work diligently from now on. I would like to continue to live peacefully with Emma, the memento of my husband. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.